everyone, this is Anna from Lexibu Journals. I hope everybody's well today. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon here. It's uh, nice and warm. And uh, at last, because we had a, a heavy, heavy raining, well, kind of cold weather this week. So it's it's a pleasure to, to welcome some sunshine. This new journal that I've got here to show you is, uh, is a new Lady of the Lake journal, uh, the, a, a high priestess of, of Avalon journal because it's the same thing and and uh, I've themed this one Chimera and I will explain why. As I've said to you before a lady of, of the lake or the the high priestess of Avalon had many faces and and she 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 was I I think the way that she is described is all the the possibilities and all the abilities that a woman a, a woman has and one of them is to change um, to change faces and to not not in a not in a negative way but to to, 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 to change and to be able to adapt and um, perform in different ways that's that's really what it is so 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 the chimera is is actually literally was a monster and it was fire breathing and it was a hybrid creature made of different parts from different animals and it originated in um, ancient uh, Asia Minor in, uh, in Lycia. Mainly it was depicted as a lion with the head of a goat protruding from its back and a tail that might end up with a, end with a snake's head. So this is what Nekimera looked like. Um, and then of course after that I think it was uh, changed into a dragon and, and all the other different creatures that were imaginary creatures that were around on these, all these beautiful tales that we know about. And she was, um, she was uh, the, and, and, and when we go a little bit to the ancient history, and the ancient, was ancient Greek history here, uh, she, she actually is the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, which was a snake, and a sibling of monsters, uh, monsters such as Kerberos and Lernaea Hydra, which is, which was the monster that um, uh, Ulysses had to deal with in the Odyssey. So, so it's all interconnected and, and those times were really really full of magic and uh, mythology was really really wild. So, so the title Chimera describes a, a creature, a mythical creature of different fictional parts uh, but it also describes, it describes also something else. It, it is used a creature or an idea which is very dazzling and imaginative and plausible. So, so this is the idea of the chimera. According to a great historian Robert Gray, chimera was apparently a calendar symbol of a tripartite year of which the seasonal emblems were lion, goat and serpent. So, so that's also how she's actually made what she's made of. So, so she's a mix of these three parts. Now Lycia in Asia Minor is in the southwest of Turkey. It has these flaming rocks They've got about two dozen vents and they're grouped in two patch patches on the hillside above the temple of Hephaestus, who was a Greek god of fire. And these vents emit burning methane of metamorphic or is, is a cer certain type of rock that uh, tran is transformed from other rocks. So that's why it's called, it's called metamorphic. Um, it changes in form. The original, the original rock is subjected to very high heat, about 150 to 200 uh, degrees, or even over that Celsius, and um, which is really pressure hot. is very high as well. So it it causes a chemical charge, and this is what these vents are. So this is just an introduction as to explain why the chimera originated from that part of the world. Because obviously, what they did in the ancient times was whatever they could not explain, they um, gave physical it. appearance, and this was one of them. And it is it is fascinating, I think, fascinating. Um, these vents that are still there. It's just amazing that they've been there for all these centuries. This so, is the introduction to this journal, which is full of wonders, and it describes the face, that face of the goddess, that sub, that um, existence, that part of her existence, that is the uh, the, the the chimera, the magic, the tr the alluring, the transforming, and all that. So, so there it is. This is a bookmark here. And the journal, the journal you've seen, some of you have seen it on Instagram and it's got lots of golds and, and it's got a green, 
um, a green gilding on the top, gold, gold and green. So it looks really, really the rustic green, the wheel there. And that's, that's a Celtic Celtic wheel, which I use on all of these. Uh, the I, I've kind of tried to keep a consistency with these journals. The Lady of the Lake journals have got this wheel in the front. So it's a series, which is sort of, I think, rather nice. And there's the Chimera here. You can see her. You can see the dragon. It's got a snake tail and everything. And uh, this is the spine. And the back, it's got some, some leaf prints on it. And, and it's also got the gold there, the gold gilding running through it. Seam binding here, because of this type of book, I think, calls for this kind of seam binding, <laughs> this kind of binding. So let's have a look at it inside. So this is the paper, the Japanese paper that I love so much. And I use it, I've used it in uh, a lady, uh, Lady of the Lake journal before, uh, Lady of Avalon, because really it looks very much um, like the type of paper that, that it could be used at that time for a journal like this. And here I've got something that I really love. It's, it's, it's a, a floral kind of a paper. And it's but the specific journal, I think, really calls for the, um, the mix of nature and uh, magic and, and, and the study of of the skies and and all the other all these other things so so the you know obviously the floor flowers were were ob obviously important and here um inside there's it's a pocket so it's a really big pocket and it closes with this gold a little gold thread here and this is a bookmark by medieval mirage and i've used it just as a little tuck spot here so it's open just you can slip a paper here and there is an image of um, a lady. So this is a this is a side pocket. This is a little tuck spot. And here I have for lace, vintage lace, and I've created this pocket underneath, but I've put paper, um, scrapbook paper, to reinforce it. So so it will be easier to use because up to now I thought those pockets were a bit too flimsy and you can really use them. They were decorative, but now you can actually use this as a pocket. So this is a new <laughs> installment, a new idea that a little bit more original idea that comes from me. So um these this is this is these are just gorgeous here, these ladies. This artist called Armand Point, um in, in the eighteen hundreds, eighteen sixty one, nineteen thirty two, that was his time and um, that he, he worked and I just I just like I just I just love ladies this image. And obviously, you know, they're holding their book and looking at the sea and Avalon was an island, so I thought they would and their outfits they suited very much this type of high priestess that is admiring the beauty around her but reading very and romantic at the same time and uh, there's just I added this here in the bottom this is a little floating pocket and I've added these medieval mirage little note cards thought i sort of added this white paper underneath little note cards for notes and this is a chimera as well look at this image it is just amazing gorgeous and i printed it on this really thin paper here this is another armand point uh painting now the, this is a card by and i have a few of these in the in the journal i have uh four of them and it is by the empire line stamps at etsy and it's a mythical it's mythical flying beasts and they're, they're just tags but aren't they amazing and just perfect for this for the chimera um theme and there's a griffin here and that comes from Durer. It's a, it's a part of a Durer image. This is part of a book, the Arthurian book, and it's uh, the story of the idols of of idols of the king. So I attach that here. It's a really old book, and there's more decoration here. This, yeah, it's just plain decoration with some gold gilding. I've added quite a lot of gilding on this 
um, journal inside as well. There's the griffin again, and this is the soldier fighting a Alphonse, um, Alphonse of Salter. And there it is, unfolds again. You can see it there. Just move this a bit. There it is. And and I've got some gilding here again as well. Little tuck spots, and um, you'll see a few of them here are from um, Diana's Crafting, and they're medieval world printables. So I added this one, and one can use it as a tuck spot. And some washi. And this is a little image here with a castle and the lady and the knight. This is Lamia by Water House. And she's talking to soldier, her soldier lover. Lamia is a god a story in herself. <laughs> really, quite a quite a story. Um, this is another water house image of a medieval maiden and I've added this handmade paper which is Japanese and I've done a bit of gilding here and I've added also this beautiful gold lace which was um, given to me by dear friend Kitten's Journals and there's the other one of the tags by the Empire Line stamps that I've used here there's a lady here with um, with some music paper in the background. There's another there's another water house female who is very she's quite intense this one. And there are some little note cards again. And a little flower on this pocket. And this is a little tuck spot. It doesn't this is not removable, but it's just a little tuck spot there. There it is. There is another one here and a little tuck spot. The image that I used on the spine and I made it into a little note card and another card here. There's another water house image of another lady here who's um, this little pocket here and another one here, a little um, envelope pocket. And I've just added a few bits and pieces just to make it a bit more, uh, give it a bit more texture and variety. This is a medieval a lady, and and that and she's her her cloak here has got birds on it, and she's very regal. And um, this is how I would imagine a the Lady of the Lake um, being, because the Lady of the Lake was was not a young lady. She was middle-aged usually because she had to go through the whole process of initiation and learning and all the other things that she had to do so so she would you know obviously she was an older woman and there is a little bit more here a few more cards and a poem she walks in beauty by byron which i love and so i've added this one here as well and there's a I've got an envelope here and inside just a little bit of old ledger in this pocket and a gilding here and I've created this kind of like double page here where where there's leaf and gold gilding and then you, you turn the side and the other side you've got a bit more gilding here and well you can see what there is I've just created this little um, composition and there's another lady here and you can tell I mean she's got in her eyes she's got lots of secrets she's definitely in her braid it lo looks very medieval here this and there's a marbled paper side pocket with this uh, a water house um, just uh, contemplating it but then you can see this skull here on this so it's not all it's got it's something a little bit darker in this image again very medieval and you can tell that how much he the waterhouse loved this this theme dancing here she's she's 
just performing a dance and uh, she this is her more alluring dazzling self in front of the king and her his queen in the castle very amazing interesting gorgeous scene it's nice and it is called the dance of the seven veils there's um, pandora's box and here she is she is again mysterious and she's searching and she's questioning and um, which is exactly what the lady of the lake did she did every all of that she was questioning she was mysterious she wanted to analyze she wanted to learn and investigate and at the same time she wanted to be dazzling and be able to get information the information that she wants and there's a side pocket here some of the Japanese paper sample the water house image and this is a dragon and this is another card here here I have a few again a few more cards of this is the, the hand and the, this is an astrology astrology chart this is from the idols of the king and it is the coming of art part of the story so I thought I'd add that here because in the Lady of the Lake in the myth Arthur King Arthur is the main one of the main characters that she thinks about worries yeah, about Ulysses and the sirens and again there they are uh, birds and uh, transformed uh, females women and with bird bodies of birds and they're they're um, dazzling him with their song trying to make him follow them into their island and you see he's tied himself here so that he can fall into this uh, temptation another water house image and here I've got a couple of little note cards in this pocket and some and here this is cosmos and another medieval mirage note card and this is this is a beautiful dragon this is destiny this globe here she's looking at the boat and um, yeah she's drinking from this blue cup and she's got a book open here and I have this envelope here. and a bit of handmade blue paper here that she's got gold in it and I thought it looked well with this image there's another pocket here, corner. Oh, I've got something. This is from the Graphics Fairy. And it is their downloadable bundles in their uh, premium website. And this is the end with my Lexinview book book plate, uh, which my daughter made for me. And uh, here is the here is my signature, which I hope is not too intrusive and um, people can just cover it but I just thought I'd, I'd sign it for whoever likes to receive it so I'll put the bookmark in there and there she is the Avalon Priestess Chimera and um, she will come in her bag her cloth bag as they all do this one I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a difficult topic, but I I hope that I explained enough in the beginning to get you into the mood, but at the same time not to tire you out too much. And uh, I also wanted to say that I've got a few downloadables at the at the shop right now. They're new and I've added them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this this book will be up on Etsy on Sunday at 8 p.m. UK Which time is tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you again and have a lovely rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.